Hello there, welcome back. It's very rare that I review products that are useful for people with indoor hobbies and also outdoor hobbies, but these two things I'm going to quickly show you today are just that. They're useful for indoor hobbies, i.e. fish keeping, and outdoor hobbies like fishing and camping. Now the first thing is a really handy bucket. That's over 13 litres and it squashes flat and that would pack away really neatly in a backpack so that allows you to store water at your campsite allows you to transport water as well if you're a fisherman you could take that with you full of live bait if you were so inclined or like me you could take it down the river catch a few small brownies and stick them in your pond Unfortunately, our river is a raging flood at the minute, otherwise I probably would have been down there already this season, catching fish, sticking them in here and bringing them back. So that's one really useful thing. Now the second thing is an outdoor shower. Well, it says outdoor shower, but as I say, this can also be used indoors, which I'll show you later. You know I don't like unboxing videos, so I'm going to take this out of the box and then get back to you. Okay, apart from the main pump and shower head linked with a pipe, we have a USB charger. So that would go into your computer or solar panel or something if you were outside. This one would go into your pump, that would charge it. It's got a rechargeable 2200 milliamp battery. And when it's pumping water, it'll pump for about an hour before the battery dies, which is pretty good. We've also got a hanger as well. So you can hang that up in a tree, stand underneath it and have a shower. Or put that huge sucker on it, stick it on a very, very flat surface like an aquarium. Click that in, load water from a bucket into your aquarium. So basically, that's it. That's what comes in the kit. You've got the pump, 1.8 meters or six feet of hose, and a shower head with a few attachments and a charger. Now the pump will pump two and a half liters per minute, which doesn't sound like much, but it does deliver a reasonable flow out of the end of here. And the whole thing really does wrap up very tight and you could even store it in your collapsible bucket. Now the, the outdoor uses are fairly obvious, i.e. you can use it as a shower, but it can also be used to wash your boots, to wash your cats or dogs or whatever outside without needing to bring them in the house and get the house up to the eyes in muck. I know what it's like washing dogs. I don't have one now, but when we did wash the dog, it would always shake. Best keep that muck outside. And here, I'll just quickly show you the charging port. That's it there. So your charger goes in here, that goes to a USB compatible device, a red light comes on to show you it's charging and when it's fully charged it starts to flash. You then take that out, put your cap back on, turn it and it totally seals it making it 100% waterproof. There's your on off switch on the top. And if you take the bottom off, you've got a very small filter on the intake, which just stops any heavy muck getting into the pump and smashing the impeller. It's just a really simple, very useful item. Obviously, there's not much point me demonstrating this washing my hair, as I don't have any. But I'll stick it in the bucket, and I'll show you what the flow rate's like. We've got our bucket full of water here. And the good thing about this having a zip top is, it doesn't matter if you're slopping it about, you lose very little water out of the top. That's pretty stable. Now, this is about 13 or 13 and a half liters in here. So within two or three minutes, depending on what height we have the shower head, this bucket will be empty. There you go. That's not a bad flow. Actually, you can see it quite well against that black background there. 
If you want it to have a shower, it'll certainly give you enough time to wash your whole body, unless you're the size of a small planet. It's also very, very quiet as well. You know, over the sound of the church bells and the birds singing, I doubt you can hear the humming of the pump. I can barely hear it and I'm just right next to it. And that's a reasonable flow as well, I mean that's going to mix any treated water in very well. Now you can just imagine in your bucket down there, if you've got medicated water or treated water, yeah, if you're doing water changes or something, that's a nice gentle way to add it back to your tank and you're not lifting buckets up a height. As far as actually mounting it to a glass tank, you've got the option of a big sucker here, which is what I had on there before, or you've got a simple hook that slots in and you don't need to hold it. So the little pump's good for taking water from your bucket into your tank, but when you've done that, where do you put the bucket? Unfortunately, it's not going to go in there. But this one does. And when it's opened up, it'll actually hold more than this bucket. Plus, you get the bonus of having a top on as well, so you can even transport fish in this. Drop your pump in, that goes up to your tank. Water changes made easy. Andy's got to take a pH reading and an ammonia reading and basically test that the water is good in this big water tank because he's going to put koi in here but there's a drop of I don't know what would you say that was four, four or five foot four into five the water foot, yeah. so we're just going to chuck the pump in and pump some water out of it Shower while you're on. <laughs> I've used it for washing my boots, like. Right. You just wash, just wash my boots, and I just have a, like a coarse brush. Which means I don't have to bring them in the house and get the house mucky. You know? That answers the question. How we get the water out of the tank? Ah. The next question is how do we get the how do we get the fish in the tank? I'll oh, just hide them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, man. <laughs> Gone are the days where you buy Chinese stuff and it's absolute rubbish. You know, with the amount of review sites and the likes of Amazon, where you get like a four star review, five star review, three or a one, plus the comments, products now have to be good, otherwise they get found out very, very quickly. So there you go, two very, very useful items if you're into outdoor pursuits and also if you're a fish keeper. Check them out, I'll put the Amazon link in the video description. Thanks very much for watching, I shall see you next time. I guess it's a cracking thing for people with tanks like You know, you can just have this in your collapsible bucket, under your tank. Aye. But it's not marketed for that. And it's rechargeable. You just oh, it's rechargeable? Uh -huh, you just undo that and recharge it. Last an hour. Alright. It for an hour. Oh, that. Yeah. Ah, I like the little bucket like that.